Hello, and welcome to the Bit Stop. Today we will be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of my four-stroke motorized bike versus my two-stroke motorized bike, and both of these versus the Blue Bandit. All right, so the first thing we're gonna wanna test is uh, Speed. I think it's gonna be pretty close. I don't know about these motorized bikes here, but I know this truck can do about 120 miles an hour, so. Seriously though, we are going to do a speed test between the two bikes and, and, then, uh, and then compare it to the truck, but I, I think it's safe to say that those motorized bikes are I mean, they're they're pretty quick. All right, so to start off, we're gonna go ahead and hop on the two-stroke, see how fast it can go. All right, so just so you know what we're working with here, this is a dual ignition motorized bike, two-stroke, 80cc. I'm gonna leave a link down in the script description where you can get one of these kits. I'll also leave a link down in the description where you can get one of these kits. This is a 49cc four stroke. This is relatively new so it's not broken in. This one however I built this spring. It's August now so this one is more broken in but we're still going to compare the speed and uh, just see what happens. So as expected, the two-stroke was a little bit faster. Now, one important thing to point out is the two-stroke, this beach cruiser, has 28-inch tires, whereas the mountain bike has 26-inch tires. And so with the bigger tires, that is going to give it better top-end speed. But I don't know, the two-stroke does seem to feel a little bit better uh, at those high RPMs. The four-stroke does seem to be a lot better on the low end. Torque wise, it does very well. It's actually quite impressive how much torque this thing has. And I think that's because of this jack shaft here and I'll show you that. So what they have here is they've got a little sprocket on a centrifugal clutch right in here. Or well, no, 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 there's not a sprocket in there but there's a little, a little pulley and it goes to a big pulley which goes to a jack shaft back down to a small sprocket to the big sprocket which gives you a lot more torque. But since it's geared down, top end is taking the hit. So if your goal with this is just to have something to cruise around at, at a good speed of like 20 miles an hour, the four stroke is just fine. In fact, it might be better because as you can see here on the four stroke, we've got a pull start. Two stroke, we've got a lever clutch and you have to pedal to start it, which can be a little bit of a pain and to a new user, a bit complicated. The four stroke, however, runs 
very, very well. In fact, most of the time I don't even choke it. It'll start up first or second pull like every single time. Runs like a Honda, at least so far. The two strokes seem to be a little bit more touchy tuning wise, but the two strokes do seem a little bit more finicky when it comes to actually running. They don't run bad. When they run, they run very well. However, the four stroke I have noticed runs a whole lot better. To be honest though, if you're someone who's looking for a lot of speed, it might be worth it to look into something, you know, something bigger, like putting a 212 on a beach cruiser or something. I know Bikeberry sells mounts where you can actually put a Predator 212 on like a pedal bike, and that would be crazy. But if you're somebody who just wants to, you know, putz around, you're looking for something that's just gonna be simple, easy, you know, start it up and go, I'd say the four stroke. One recommendation though with getting the four stroke is make sure you put it on a beach cruiser. As you can see here, I had to chop off some of the choke lever and it's, I mean, even some of the other stuff, it's really close. So I barely was able to fit this motor on this bike. The two strokes, obviously, I mean, there's tons of room. In fact, two strokes, you really can't put on a beach cruiser, at least not very easily. These are designed for the V-frame. This is a beach cruiser, but it's got the V-frame and so, I was able to put the two stroke on there. So this is the first four stroke engine kit I have installed and it was a bit of a pain. There have been a lot of issues. In fact, I'm still having an issue with my chain binding and trying to derail off of my sprocket. I've tried a lot of different things, I'm getting that thing going. It, I've gotten it close, but there is still that bind in there every once in a while. But ultimately, it comes down to you and your preference. Personally, if you want to know my personal opinion, I'd rather have the two-stroke. And the two-stroke uh, price point is about $130 for the kit. The four-stroke was just over $200 for the kit. And I prefer the two-stroke. So, you know, I'm not going to get another one of the four-strokes. I don't, don't really like it. But for the right person, it could be... A great kit. Well guys, I know the truck won in speed. Let's see how good it runs. Ooh. Well guys, if you want something that'll start up with this little metal thing and run good and go really fast. Might just wanna get a pickup truck. Anyways guys, I hope that helped you decide whether you were gonna get, you know, four stroke or two stroke, you know. Hopefully that helped you in that decision. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed that video and you like some of my other stuff, you might wanna consider subscribing. See you next time at the Pit Stop.